Hello everyone, this is Noah and John. We are from Urban Digs. It is Fries Day. That means you're getting your weekly Manhattan market snapshot. Let's get right to it. John, supply 8284. Show me the chart. Where are we at? Well, we're up another 1% and it's just leveling off here as we uh, close out August. That is an unimpressed John. I love an unimpressed John. The last thing I want to see is this skyrocketing to nine or 10,000. Uh, let's move on to pending sales. Pending sales come in at 1501. Eh. Yeah, I mean, look at that. It's not, it's not a, it's not a bounce you want to see. It's just sort of like a, a, a flat sort of, you know, gentle rise up. You really want to see like, you know, some rock and roll here, but it is what it is. It's um, kind of at that level. Yeah, and I'm looking at this chart, John. I got to be honest with you. I could use August as an excuse all day long, but I mean, I, I, I expected this to bounce a little harder off of that bottom, considering the drastic nature of this, of this shutdown. Um, a little unimpressive, but again, we can't complain about it anymore. It is what it is. And am I right in thinking we're probably not going to see any move in this until late September, early October? Um, I, I think you're right. I think if we do see a move in it, it, it actually might be to the downside as Acris starts closing sales uh, faster than we can fill them up. So uh, let's keep an eye on it. I, I really think it's sort of at a place where we can kind of mentally put that number on pause until we get some more sales in the pipeline, mid-September, early October kind of thing. All right, makes sense. We'll, we'll stay on top of that. All right, let's week to one week numbers. One week numbers. Where did active come in? Ding, ding, ding. We are at 413, John. Show me the chart. Where are we at? I mean, 413 is the lowest weekly level we've had since the reopening. That's a, that's a great sign. It's even lower than the holiday week of July 4th. So supply started, to, you know, it's been easing off for the last several weeks and it's going in the right direction. It's still a lot each week, but going in the right direction is the takeaway here. Right. And this makes sense. I guess this makes sense when looking at inventory and you can see that slope that's kind of tightening out, leveling off, as you say. Um, this makes sense now. All right. So let's move to pending sales and contract activity. One week deal production in Manhattan real estate. 158. Eh. Yeah. And yeah. look, we're range bound. We've been between like 140, 150s. Yeah. We're sort of in that range. I, I generally think we're going to have to remove some of the uncertainty in our world before we crash up again, or break out again over 200 or so. But for right. now, I mean, this is kind of where we are. We're sort of setting at baseline. Yeah, and that's a really good point, John. So, so we're setting a baseline. So I guess we're at the 150, 160 level. Now we're going to go into the post-Labor Day market. We expect that pickup to come towards the end of September, early October. Let's see what the next three, four weeks bring based on this 150, 160 baseline be very important. All right, John, you got some unique, interesting nuggets of information. Pray tell what you got for us this week. Well, one of the things we did is we looked at um, – uh, listing discount. And so the chart I'm showing you now is basically listing discount when the deal was signed, not when the deal was closed. So it's, a, it's an actual snapshot of market conditions when the deal was signed. That's, that's great. So you're eliminating the lag of, 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 of Acris closing, which during the COVID shutdown, that could have been four months, five months, whatever. You're eliminating that lag from this chart. That's exactly right. And look at that COVID shutdown. You see those lines? That's listing discount. And you can look at that top line there, that sort of aqua blue line. That's the over $4 million luxury market. And you can see that spike, April, May, June, just way up there as the COVID deals sort of uh, are getting closed now uh, and it's starting to come back down. But I think, Noah, the interesting thing is that red line, that's the sub 2 million market. And it's just sort of doing its own thing. It's sort of cruising on a little bit of a spike up and then sort of, you know, back to where it is, like, what is that, 7, 8%, something like that? Yeah, that red line is showing me sub 2 million listing discount. That's stable. That had a little reaction in COVID times, but it looks like that was around March, April, which makes sense, right? And again, we're putting you back into time. That was the fear trade. And that, wow, that 4 million market, look at the luxury sector. Is that May, June? That, that spike right over there? That's what it is. Uh, I mean, it really does, it, it does put you back into time and place. We did have two periods of COVID. We had shut down COVID, we had reopened COVID. We are in reopened COVID. You buyers out there, guys, you know, you, you got a luxury, a little bit of a luxury versus buyers in March and April, okay? The market is not as fearful as it was back then. So these numbers are kind of giving you that first glimpse of those fear trades and when those fear trades happened and how much of a fear trade it was. Yeah. And the other interesting thing though is, and I think you're exactly right, is think about the fear in the markets. And if you have this sort of New York exodus, people are leaving, getting out of the city, that's the narrative. This chart doesn't necessarily support that because if you do have people leaving the city, A, the bars at the bottom of volume are going to be much higher because people are doing what they can to get out. Yeah. And those lines are going to be sort of steep on the way up because they're, they're willing to take any price they can get. So to me, seeing these listing discounts come down, even as volume is sort of low, suggests that the market 
even though it's sort of an abbreviated phase right now, is sort of renormalizing its behaviors and, and sort of getting back to sort of its roots of normal listing discounts. Yeah, I, I got to be honest with you. When I look at these statistics, I, I, I think the same kind of market as in 2009, the same kind of market after 9-11. I mean, this, this is what happened. This is what happens in, in, in down cycles. Um, I don't see anything that shows mass exodus. And like you said, those volume, those bars, those volume bars would go um, way up. Um, and the next couple of months would show that, but we don't see that in contract activity. So there's no indications in terms of all the data we have access to that there's going to be a surge in deals closing over the next couple of months. Right. All right. Thank you so much. John Walkup, great charts. My name is Noah Rosenblatt. We are both from Urban Digs. Have a great weekend and we'll catch you next time.